right, here we go. We're gonna hit Colorado Monument Trail. Totally reminds me of our trip a few years ago, if you remember that video, when we went out to Moab and Canyonlands. I've never been out here on this side. So, super cool. Let's hit it. I'm gonna try and get back before sunset. It says three and a half hours. It'll be tight. I'm gonna see if we can do it. Shorter period of time from 2.50 in the afternoon. There you go. Nice. There's lizards everywhere. I don't know how well you guys can see there's somebody rock climbing right around here. I'm sure this is super sweet for those of you who do that. I do not. My buddies do not. I do not. I do not. I tried about 10 years ago and I realized that I just don't have the upper body strength and I'd have to spend probably months just getting conditioned for that. So I decided to pass on that activity when I was exploring. <laughs> When I was in my early 20s, what type of outdoor activities I would like to do. Rock climbing was not on the list. But how many rock climbers do we have in the audience? If you're near Grand Junction, there might be some sweet places. <laughs> I pulled that thing out and I was like, well, that was in there. Definitely getting some swings of hot and cold in the shade. It's pretty cool in the sun, hot, you know, 3.30. I think the high was supposed to be around 70 today. <clears throat> Probably a little bit warmer out here in the direct sun under the rocks. But one thing you always got to remember, even though it's blazing hot, or at least it feels so right now, that if for whatever reason we lost our way, got stuck out here, it's gonna drop significantly in the high desert. You gotta always have a coat of some kind. Just in case. Okay. And they have to canoe or sail on this like river outlet into some ocean, sail across to this island, and then do like a 15 or 18 mile hike. Okay. Open around, get back into the sailboat, and then like they're just, the dude is just nuts. Wow. Uh, That's cool. Everything they need. Right. That's cool. Yeah. It's all like time. Okay. So it's all like Outrage. late. That's cool. There she blows. Nice light. In one hour, just about exactly, just under an hour. 2.4 miles. Is that how far we, we went, Jordan? Mine says two and a quarter. Two and a quarter, okay. So the sign lied to us. That's pretty. I love this. So, you know, some of you have been following for a while. You know, I grew up in California, or was born in California. Grew up there till I was about nine before moving to Colorado. And uh, my grandparents lived your China Lake military base out there. Just had a lot of this type of stuff. Not quite the rock formations, but just the, you know, the juniper bushes and red rock and all that. It was awesome. It just kind of reminds me of my childhood a little bit. It's so cool. Okay, so we're now we're doing the unimproved portion. So it's kind of like a loop. You can either just go, go out and back to the monument. Oh, look at that from the side. It's like way fatter. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. I thought it was just super narrow. <clears throat> um, and uh, from the side. <laughs> I heard that, Jordan. That was the only thing. That's hilarious. Anyway, 
Um, so, uh, yeah, well, this is like the unimproved side. So the other one was definitely more well-groomed. This is gonna probably just be kind of like this dirt path, but it seems fine for now as we head back. Okay, this is definitely a little bit aggressive. <clears throat> and going up, this would definitely be somewhat difficult. So if you're a weekend warrior, maybe not ideal or, you know, you got kids or elderly with you. It's fine for me and my buddies, but just wanted to give you that feedback. It gets easier near the top, but it's a little aggressive. Here we are back to the car. Good little loop. What do you think, guys? Pretty dope. Nice. So, if you're looking for how long did it take us? We started at three o'clock. So yeah, two hour, two hour loop. Not a lot of breaks, not too much time at the monument, 10 minutes or so. But not bad if you don't have a lot of time, but you want a good little outdoor experience right outside Grand Junction.